The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation is the oil corporation through which the federal government of Nigeria regulates and participates in the country's petroleum industry. History NNPC was established on 1 April 1977 as a merger of the Nigerian National Oil Corporation and the Federal Ministry of Mines and Steel. NNPC by law manages the joint venture between the Nigerian federal government and a number of foreign multinational corporations, which include Royal Dutch Shell, AGIP, ExxonMobil, Total SA, Chevron, and Texaco now merged with Chevron. Through collaboration with these companies, the Nigerian government conducts petroleum exploration and production. In 2007, the head of the Nigerian Wing of Transparency International said salaries for NNPC workers were too low to prevent graft. The NNPC Towers in Abuja is the headquarters of NNPC. Consisting of four identical towers, the complex is located on Herbert Macaulay Way, Central Business District Abuja. NNPC also has zonal offices in Lagos, Kaduna, Port Harcourt and Wari. It has an international office located in London, United Kingdom. Leadership Dr. Maikanti Baru is the current group managing director. Through severe lobbying and pressure from the Emir of Kano Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, Emir of Zazao Shehu Idris and Sultan of Sokoto Saadu Abubakar, he influenced the presidency of Muhammadu Buhari, succeeding on his third attempt at Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation GMD ship, and was appointed Group Managing Director on July 4, 2016 under the presidency of Muhammadu Buhari, he succeeded Dr. Emmanuel Ibe Kachiku, the current Nigerian Minister of State, Petroleum. Organizational structure The NNPC Group comprises the NNPC Board, the Group Managing Director's Office, seven operational units as listed below. Each of the unit is headed by a Chief Operating Officer Its divisions are headed by Group General Managers while its subsidiary companies are headed by Managing Directors. NNPC has several subsidiaries, two partly owned subsidiaries and 16 associated companies. Autonomous business units, upstream company downstream company refining company ventures company gas and power company corporate services units, finance and accounts corporate services strategic business and corporate services units. Topic: <laughs> Installations. NNPC has sole responsibility for upstream and downstream developments, and is also charged with regulating and supervising the oil industry on behalf of the Nigerian government. In 1988, the corporation was commercialized into 11 strategic business units, covering the entire spectrum of oil industry operations, exploration and production, gas development, refining, distribution, petrochemicals, engineering, and commercial investments. The subsidiary companies include, Nigerian Petroleum Development Company NPDC. <laughs> Legal premise According to the Nigerian constitution, all minerals, gas, and oil the country possesses are legally the property of the Nigerian federal government. As such, the oil corporations operating in Nigeria appropriate portions of their revenue to the government, which accrues nearly 60% of the revenue generated by the oil industry in this manner. The revenue gained by the NNPC accounts for 76% of federal government revenue and 40% of the entire country's GDP. As of 2000, oil and gas exports account for 98% of Nigerian export earnings. Corruption at the NNPC KPMG report In December 2011, the Nigerian government permitted a forensic report conducted by KPMG to be published. 
The audit, commissioned by the Ministry of Finance following concerns over the NNPC's transparency, detailed the NNPC's sharp business practices, violation of regulations, illegal deductions of funds belonging to the state, and failure to account for several billions of naira that should go to the Federation account. Auditors found that between 2007 and 2009 alone, the NNPC over deducted funds and subsidy claims to the tune of N28.5 billion. It has not been able to account for the sum ever since. Wilbros Group Inc In May 2008, Wilbros Group Inc., a U.S. company, admitted to making corrupt payments totaling over $6.3 million to officials at the NNPC and its subsidiary NAPIMS, in return for assistance in obtaining and retaining contracts for work on the Eastern Gas Gathering System EGS. Ab Vetco Gray In July 2004, Abvetco Grey, a U.S. company, and its U.K. subsidiary Abvetco Grey U.K. Limited, admitted to paying over $1 million in bribes to officials at NNPC subsidiary NAPIMS in exchange for obtaining confidential bid information and favorable recommendations from Nigerian government agencies. Trafagora and Vital. In November 2013 after a report was published by Swiss non-governmental advocacy organization, Erklaring von Bern, allegations of heavy fraud surfaced, placing the NNPC under suspicion of siphoning off $6.8 billion in crude oil revenues. In remitted funds 2013-2014 On 9 December 2013, a letter from the Central Bank of Nigeria CBN Governor, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi to the President of Nigeria, Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, dated show of 25 September 2013 details that the NNPC had not remitted over $49.8 billion proceeds of crude oil sales to the government surfaced. On 13 December 2013, NNPC responded that no money was missing. Reconciliation Committee comprising representatives of I CBN E NNPC E DPR IV FERS V OAGF V the Budget Office of the Federation V Federal Ministry of Finance V Federal Ministry of Petroleum Resources was set up the Reconciliation Committee estimated and remitted funds at 10.8 billion dollars on the 18th of December 2013 while CBN changed its claim to 12 billion dollars CBN then informed Senate Committee on Finance on 4 February 2014 that NNPC needs to account for $20 billion as the CBN could only confirm receipt of $47 billion out of $67 billion revenue for the period under review. The then finance minister recommended the conduct of an independent forensic audit and PWC was officially appointed by the Office of the Auditor General of the Federation AUGF to conduct a forensic audit into the allegations. Among the conclusions reached by PWC at the end of their work, as stated in their report, which was made public are 1. Total cash remitted into the Federation accounts in relation to crude oil liftings was $50.81 billion and not $47 billion as earlier stated by the Reconciliation Committee for the period from January 2012 to July 2013.2. NNPC has provided information on the difference leading to a potential excess remittance of $0.74 billion without considering expected remittances from NPDC. Other indirect costs of $2.83 billion which were not part of the submission to the Senate Committee hearing have been defrayed to arrive at this position. Point three. A major consideration centers on the ownership of oil and gas assets controlled by NPDC. Subject to additional information being provided, we estimate that the NNPC and NPDC should refund to the Federation account a minimum of $1.48 billion as summarized in the Next page, no staff of the NNPC or Ministry of Petroleum has so far been punished, though on Thursday 20 February 2014, the whistle-blowing CBN governor was suspended from office by the President. In remitted funds 2016. 
An official audit reported in March 2016 that the NNPC had failed to pay $1.6 billion. 